Use the utility knife to cut the entire length of the sling. Use a flat blade screwdriver and pry out a plastic end cap from each end of the sling rails. Retain the end caps. Remove the spreader bar before loosening the sling rails. On the chairs with two removable sling rails, Loosen one side only. On the chairs with one, loosen that side. Now, use the pliers to slide the old sling out of the sling rail. Apply a small amount of lubricant, like petroleum jelly, at the upper start point of each sling track. Starting at the top of the chair, position the sling on the removable sling rail so the Tropitone label is at the opposite end of the starting point. Use the pliers to firmly and slowly slide the sling along the first sling rail. After sliding the first side of the sling on the loosened sling rail, detach this sling rail from the chair frame. Then, have another person hold the sling rail on which you have installed the sling. Use pliers to firmly and slowly slide the remaining side of the sling into the other sling rail. Loosen the screws a little more. Holding one sling rail, have the other person firmly pull the sling apart until you can insert the spreader bar. Pull the sling evenly up and down to the ends of the sling rails. Reinstall the socket head screws and washers at the front seat area to secure the sling tension and position. Once the socket head screw takes hold, only turn it a few times. Do not fully tighten it until the rear seat bolts are installed. Repeat this step with the rear seat area socket head screw. Once both socket head screws are started, Continue to tighten them using the Allen wrench. Alternate back and forth between the two to achieve even tension. Cut off the excess plastic rod at the top of the chair. Place the plastic end caps back on the top of each sling rail. Tap the end caps into place using your plastic rubber hammer. Congratulations! Your sling installation is complete.